Africa, if you go to the rural area of any country, maybe they have, a, yeah, yeah, they never heard about, yeah, a lot of people never heard about Christmas, but still, this is, yeah, in America and other, yeah, westernized country, western countries, who can see how they celebrate Christmas. And if you are Sunday school teacher, and how are you going to teach about Christmas? Maybe we can talk about, oh yeah, Jesus Christ came and we celebrating Christmas, but still, maybe you prepare a lot of activity at church and present in front of people, and maybe you have a deep exchange, and then maybe yeah, thanks for your Christmas dinner and then the end of the yeah, dinner party, whatever, and then we have a lot of things, right? That it seems like the Christmas is a part of them. Why is the why is the spirit of Christmas for Christians? Yeah, before we start, yeah, before we get started, yeah. I I I I want to just think about which, yeah, what is a Christmas, which relates to the essence of a Christianity, right? All right, let's go back to uh, today's lecture. And how do you understand the school? Uh, dep yeah, it depends on the culture. If you go to other countries, really, they don't, uh, they don't uh, think about much about education. So maybe, and really other country, even though they don't go to school and they are really satisfied uh, with what you know, what they have, who they are. But if you go to another country like Korea and China, and they invest a lot of you know, effort and, and support and you know, money for education, yeah, they parents, yeah, parents are willing to send their children to college. After college, and now it's such a hard to get a job, and then they go to graduate school. And long time ago, probably, yeah, was an education area is like a very sacred, and we really respect the teachers. And um, in Korea, so long time ago, we really honors and kings and what, uh, past you know, king and uh, teachers and parents. They we think that they all is a one and really respect. That's uh, uh, not now, yeah, nowadays culture, but long time ago. So it's yeah, the education is kind of sac not the sacred, but it's really really important. And then so one of the areas is really different from other organizations. But nowadays, and there is no much about respect, yeah, respect for teachers. And then, and this, yeah, sometimes I, yeah, like yesterday, I talk about the school, yeah, uh, how, yeah, how we went through high schools. And, high school and junior high school and elementary. But nowadays teacher doesn't yeah, teacher teachers don't have kind of authority. And if a yeah, teacher like the yeah, like behave like yeah, nowadays and they're gonna they're gonna what? Fired and they cannot yeah, work at a yeah, local school. That's a nowadays a trend. And I try to look up the yeah, yeah, I try to update you know, what's going on uh, with what's uh, Apple News and then I read a little and then well, she one of the story about one of the teachers nowadays she's 27 years and then she has a six degrees and diploma and then she said she worked really hard and she could work a lot but she is on the page. So nowadays, a lot of teachers are leaving school, and they work, you know, they work a lot, but the pay is less. They said we cannot survive with the salary. 
That's the one of the issue nowadays, right? And there is a lot of issues, yeah, like the last week we already went over, and then how can we deal with these issues? So if you are principal, if you are the board member of a school, how can you run the school? How can you see the school? Like, uh, depends on what perspective you understand, and maybe, basically, um, one of the perspectives is what? Yeah, see the school organization, one of the organization. They don't have any privilege that maybe they got before, like in my culture, but nowadays, and then they try to, uh, uh, make, yeah, kind of start a lot of schools because they want to make a profit with education. People really consider, consider education and they, they think that education is very important and then people really yeah, invest a lot of money on education. That's why school is one of the business. They, yeah, they, they start a lot of schools and some schools cannot, yeah, school is not compatible with other schools and then they, yeah, they close down, but still, yeah, there's a lot of schools out there. And, but that is one of the, a uh, uh, lot of private schools out there. And then what about public schools? So they are struggling with the fund. The fund is really, really limited. And then if you become a principal of a school, and then how you run the school? And then how can you, yeah, how can you achieve like, the purpose of education? And, how can you make everybody uh, satisfied with your uh, education? Their work and parents and children. How can you make them happy in education? That, yeah, that's why uh, this class is like uh, what is it, uh, educational leadership and uh, what is it, uh, administration. How can we run the school? And Today, uh, we're going to talk about how we understand the uh, schools. And depends on the culture, and depends on what the time period, and long time ago, 50 years ago, and 100 years ago, and but nowadays, there, there was a, yeah, it's a lot of change, right? Still changing. So, uh, maybe this building is like the study is in 90, 1930s, but still it's a you know, off practice school or operation, and then that's why uh, our textbook and introduce how you understand the school. And the author said, so let's just see, let's see the school as a world of organization. And there is uh, understanding, yeah, there's two types of, yeah, not two types of basic understanding of organizations. And then he said, the author, yeah, the book, the textbook, yeah, kind of presented there is, yeah, an aggregate, aggregate uh, thinking and system thinking. And if you want to understand the school, and if you wanna run the school effectively, what kind of yeah, thinking you need? What kind of yeah, understanding you have? There is yeah, there's two kind of yeah, thinking system. It's a one is yeah, thinking, it's a one is uh, aggregate, yeah, aggregate yeah, thinking is kind of yeah. Here is there is a lot of elements here. They put together, right? Uh, think about schools, yeah, think about your workplace, and there is a sales department, there's a customer department, yeah, customer department, there is a product development department. A, there is a lot of yeah, departments there, right? And each department and each part of your, they are in, yeah, consisting of what? They are consisting of what? Organization. So, Every team thinking is like, okay, all the department is there and they work their own way. 
That's an aggregate, aggregate, yeah, aggregate, yeah, uh, thinking. Does the element are put together, but there is no interact, there is no integration, and there, there is no interdependence. Okay, take a real partner. I'm going to take a mind working. Yeah, one of my friend's daughter, and she's working after school, she's working in a little small company, and she experienced like this. I think she does a many systems to really, yeah, every, yeah, every team, yeah, thinking system. Each department has it, but what's the owner? So it's not a big company, the owner just, yeah, uh, runs in his, yeah, in his way. So, and currently kind of, yeah, everything is separate, and that's why right. it's, 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 it's not easy to communicate with each other and work on uh, that effective. But there is another yeah, system thinking as a thinking about the whole system. Whole system. When you think about the organization, it's okay, sediment department talk to about customer department. Okay, sediment department need to talk to about product development company at the department. Because they need to what is about another result? Uh, they need to talk to what is the uh, customer's preference when they visit and warehouse online, they click and we can see what are you looking for. And then you gotta analyze what, what's going on in the, on the market, right? What product is really hot? So how can we deal with all kind of, how can we make more profit through our business? That's the, you gotta, yeah, talk and product development and uh, oh okay how can we satisfy with your customer and we gotta how can we provide your, your service and then customer we gotta talk all together that's your yeah, system thinking thinking about roles of a function in the relation between parts and whole organization is here right every different part is here and you gotta communicate you know the function and then put together and run smoothly. Think about how many uh, kind of uh, uh, part in department at school. Maybe there is no customer service department, but teachers is here and there is a admi administration there, right? And what else? And after that, what is what what they had, and was a district, and they under the state, under the federal. There is a chain of systems there, basically, and then what do you have at school? Do you have any special program that school provides? And what about and? Uh, daycare after school. What about any specific program? And every district has different you know, emphasis, right? And yeah, that's the and we have a lot of yeah yeah we need yeah, a lot of different uh as a part at school and how we create the one and how can we provide education through each department, each part, and then make what? Well, education effective to carry out the purpose of education. That is a yeah, system thinking. System thinking. So maybe uh, think about there is an aggregate thinking and there is a system thinking, but leader doesn't, yeah, if leader doesn't have what? Well, system thinking, which will be really hard. They, they don't know how to mediate between the, you know, among the part and department, and just kind of even, just let them, okay, you gotta do your own work, and maybe it's okay. I don't know, maybe some organization works like that, but some organization like if you wanna really make uh, uh, as a profit and productive and then 
we got to think about which one is better. So the author of our text suggested that we got to see the school of organization and then think more about as a system, how can we run the schools? And uh, there is some characteristic of the system, why it's really good. And system is yeah, it's not itself by itself, right? There's a lot of system, yeah, as a part is there. But system is what well, put together and given this function and then runs together. That's why you know, system creates a synergy. And sometimes system have their own yeah, world and then think about one part is there, one part, yeah, cannot take care of everything. But if we work, yeah, if they work with other department and other part, and then there's a create a synergy effect, right? And maybe this, yeah, this department and take care of everything, the customer relate to the their words of school and, okay, this program and the they, uh, they need to take care of your parents and create uh, yeah, developing and every one give you one department and school and create every one thing and take care of everything and then think about it to really overload the work is overload and plus expertise is less and then wow it's really struggling but think about we have created this program and there is a yeah, department who really well, engage with the parent and then they know the program, they gotta communicate and reach a communicate it. They have what is it though? So this department like the customer service and the school and then what? They talk to it this well, this you know, new program developer, you know, program director or department and then they talk to the parent and whole system. That's why that yeah, synergy, yeah, synergy is there. Maybe we can make uh, uh, skills and expertise and we can get an expertise and we can work more effective, right? Work is kind of uh, specialized. Okay, I'm going to take on this one and then people know the how to do the people and like this. That's why synergy, synergy effect. The system, yeah, system provides synergy effect. And system has okay one two three four five and each is yeah part gave their own function really focus on and then put together that's why it's a functionalism. So what is the but the in in the system this function doesn't work and then it's a big trouble. One of the uh, kind of uh, disadvantage. That's why how could we have each part, yeah, each, yeah, each part in the whole system, and then how can we put together and manage it effectively, right? That is better. And system, each common lead each part to form, yeah, to function together as a lead part. What about, uh, yeah? Dynamic homeostasis. Homeostasis always try to make balance, like it's from the biological terms, and then try to make balance effective. And what is uh, uh, isomorphism? Is, yeah, isomorphism is uh, like this, and there's a uh, there is a uh, different to organism and then put together and then we, they generate a lot similar things. And same thing, so only yeah, the system and uh, different two function is uh, put together and yeah, kind of integrate and what? Generate different, but different but similar things, right? They are uh, isomorphism. And what about uh, differentiation and specialization in the system, right? And there, if there is yeah, a specialization, and then um, if you the 
just uh, let them do their own things and like maximize. But differentiate, differentiate, oh, you are different, and A and B is different, right? A is different from yeah, uh, B, and then B just uh, without difference, uh, differentiating, and they put together and try to run, it's a lot of energy to run. If we go to small organization, and they will build up the system, a system that why they are struggling a lot. Sometimes if you go to small organization, but they develop their own kind of system, even though it's small, you don't you don't need many people, but work is very effective. That's the system, but uh, that is, yeah, uh, so we need to differentiation and a lot of specialization. But I worked, uh, uh, I worked for a, a mission agency and then, you know, I don't know, there's always a cultural influences and then uh, there's mixed uh, yeah, uh, stuff, yeah, from the between and ethnic cultures and American cultures, right? And sometimes it's to really think about why it's a, or, or why it's a logical, why it's a rational, and that concept is different, yeah, from that yeah, it's really different in terms of a culture. And here in America, you said it, it's logical and it's rational and follow the step. There is their own things. But if you go to Korea and other uh, really uh, countries, and if they say it's logical, a little bit different, it's rational, it's a little bit different from that. Yeah. Here, I learned this summer. But if you go on here and then you assume that this is a logic that you have to follow, that the rational, that the yeah, right, yeah, call the reasoning. And but if you go to really focus on the relationship and group thinking, it's a different. They have their own logic to fit into the society. So yeah, that's a yeah, cultural issue. And there is a yeah, principle of progressive, yeah, progressive mechanization. Mechan yeah, mechan yeah, so, and system is getting yeah, developed and then think about it. And before, it's a, it's a organization is a small, but you don't need much yeah, part and then maybe it's simple. But if you kind of yeah, uh, getting an organization bigger and bigger and then you develop a different program and develop the policy and we got to build up another system to make work effective. That's why. And there is a clear goals. And then um, just think about, and one, uh, we, are, we have goals and how can we systemize this goal and how can we pass this goal? There it is, right? So goal is here and how can we all put together and yeah, work effectively and then yeah, achieve the goal. And then you gotta adopt, adapt each other very well. Uh, we gotta adapt to different things, right? There is, yeah, who can more effective goals and then, other, yeah, there's adaptations. What about uh, negative, yeah, negative entropy? Do you know entropy is going to be a really chaotic, but still, yeah, there is, yeah, for this energy, but uh, negative entropy is a kind of upper, the opposite word of entropy. And it is similar to the uh, homeostasis. It's not a chaotic, but there is a consider some order. So, System, yeah, system provide yeah, this kind of advantages. And that's why there's a lot of, yeah, if you run the school and with understanding as a system, 
and you develop the system as for the school, and then um, maybe it's easier, maybe you know, maybe more effective to run school to carry out the goals of your purpose of education, goals of education. But there is a, a system is there. Once a closed system is an open system. Once a closed system. Mean that it's a kind of a negative nuance, and then uh, the core system is that the internal subunit of organization, yeah, different part and department, and the well, do not interact with the external environment. Theory is always there. And what about open system? An open system are internal subunit that interact with the other system. And there are uh, that are outside of organization. So uh, all organization is about open systems. It means that close the yeah, closed system is not effective, and then it's a hard, uh, uh, it's a hard to work. Well, maybe um, yeah, and maybe it's a better specialized, and then. Maybe, yeah, without any interaction with the outside, and just uh, yeah, there is organization, maybe secret organization. I don't know, but still, there is a, they they need input, and they they need they have outcome. In the closing, they take more input, and we gotta we gotta see the the function of organization though. And there is a we can see the rest of closed system in there. They are not active and they are not effective runs about the department or the part. Suppose any yeah, that's why if you see the system, system is about related in functions, with the functionality. It's not open to other organization, is what happened. It's kind of dormant and then it's not profitable for the other part, and then what? Wow, it's a harmful. So uh, when we understand the school or uh, so, well, um, organizational system, and then we gotta think about school is an open system, it's not a closed. I mean, they're not, yeah, they're not, yeah, they, yeah, they are not connected to parents. They're not connected to other. Uh, societal change. No, you cannot do. You cannot provide a you know, proper education if you are if you have any soft, yeah, uh, so closed system in organization, right? So diversity is kind of a provide good evaluation. Then. Okay, this organization is open. Yeah, once so this system is a subsystem, is also so really Active, it's a really need or not. We got to evaluate. Sometimes there is no right function and doesn't function, and we got to take away and then we got to reform to our face and right. That is a yeah, system. And another thing is that there is a simple system and complex system and. Complex system is a really good, yeah, kind of a multiple uh, system is there and they put together. And simple system is maybe very simple one. It's not a maybe like this. And simple system is like a small degrees and then what? But still system is there, but uh, what is a uh, complex system is about runs in yeah, uh, like a company, big company. So a simple system is like very really homogeneous, homogeneous, and then very really identical and indistinguishable and structural, yeah, what is a uh, structural element. And maybe if you go to small, like uh, yeah, organization that I worked, definition organization is very really homogeneous, yeah, homogeneous. 
is uh, consists of uh, Korean American missionaries, and then uh, they have understanding of missionary almost identical, and they have a kind of similar cultural background, and then sometimes they don't understand the why the administration part. It's really homogeneous. And maybe, yeah, they were, yeah, they have a lot of, yeah, even though they were like, it's a lot of the same mind, how to run the organization. That's, uh, yeah, simple homogeneous, right? That's one of the characteristics in simple, and simple maybe complicated system. It's not a, yeah, complicated is different, yeah, in our text, and, yeah, complicated system is different from complex system, right? Complex is heterogeneous, yeah, heterogeneous. Heterogeneous is a large number of you know, structural variation there. It's not one part. And maybe if you go to yeah, companies and big companies and then think about and there is a customer service and then they have a different system systems there. But like a small organization that I work and then we don't have much. There is a administration part and there is what? And a finance part. That's it. We don't have any other stuff. But if you need to be uh, bigger, even though same organization bigger, and then if you go like other mission agencies, and then they have development organizations, and then a part, and they have a fundraising part, and then they have a lot of different leaders, and it's a lot of yeah, different layers of the part. But we don't, and then I, yeah, we didn't, and then, you know, I didn't, I work at this involved, and this involved, you know, I have below this one, and sometimes I make yeah, this one, and that's a yeah, uh, simple, yeah, system. But still, they have a structure, it's very simple. Simple system is about linear, the relationship with the constant, proper, yeah, constant uh, proper, yeah, proportions. It's a linear, but, Sometimes, yeah, the complex system is non-linear. So, call, yeah, the cause does not produce a yeah, yeah, proportional effect. Okay, there's always, yeah, uh, cause and effect. And, but that's a linear thinking, but, and non-linear is not a, okay, this, this cause effect, well, this effect caused by different things, not always this, yeah. A and B relationship. And simple system is a uh, deterministic, yeah, deterministic kind of yeah, characteristic. And same result always occurs for a given set of uh, circumstance and predictable. The deterministic. Deterministic, deterministic, right? Deterministic, and then, okay, when I work in the organization, I know what's going on. And what about the uh, complex system in uh, stochastic and then the element of what? Randomly is at least to degree of uncertainty about the outcome. Stochastic. Right, it's a little bit different. That's why uh, they nowadays they use a lot of data analysis analysis to predict, but it's not always. What about the simple? It's a very steady, steady. Nothing change over time. Very steady, and it's hard to change. Okay. Our system is enough for we can learn in this way. There is no progressive, yeah, uh, uh, progressive mechanism development. And but uh, as complex system is a uh, dynamic, a uh, change over time, and past has an impact on the future. Think about education. I don't know teachers. Sometimes they already made it one 
uh, syllables and then ventricles and they never change. That is a simple system. They work. But 10 years ago is a little different from today. Right? What about 10 years ago? That's not, that's why uh, we got a uh, comment out. If you work in a, in a complex system and then uh, you got to know the dynamics, how it change, how quick. Right? Sometimes it will be stressful because we want to deal with it. And simple system is kind of indi yeah, independent. Yeah, Subsystem are not influenced and controlled by the other part of the system. Because, yeah, that's true. We have a different organization and bodies in here, but not that much. But complex systems, there are a lot of subsystems and working together. That's why right, interdependent. Such systems are yeah, in, in, interconnected or interwoven, not just interacting, not just interacting. Interacting is that sometimes there is no outcome, the outcome that what the system is expecting. But for so interdependent means that okay, so what's the system depends on this system, so without this system, they cannot, the system cannot survive like this. Independent means that, like I told you, little organization and then it's okay. Okay, maybe there's a, not that much admin work and we don't want to kind of systemize and then someone maybe was a price, was a who is a uh, official, uh, was a person or the Maybe uh, 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 there is a uh, 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 cowards and uh, they can take care of all things. Uh, when I was there, I did I, I tried to I tried to develop a system. Okay, you always this one, you always my always this one, and then you work together. Well, why was it working that works, but work, but now this kind of the leadership has changed and then yeah, there I heard that there is some chaotic. Depends on. And so a simple system is a no feedback, yeah, the open chain of cause and effect. No feedback. And but the what is the uh Oh, as a, uh, and complex system is a feedback, it's a close chain of the uh, uh, causal connections, right? Because they are in, in, uh, interdependent. But let's say, uh, why is it independent? I mean, they will differ. And I try to give you some idea about under yeah, understanding organizations. And there is a simple system, it's a complex system. There's an uh, open system, there's a closed system. And how can you understand the organization, whole organization, where it's aggregate thinking, think, or what about system, yeah, system thinking? It's a little bit different. So how you set the uh, understanding of organization and organization, direction of organization is a little bit different. And leader and understand yeah, uh, what kind of, uh, kind of perspective you yeah, have uh, depends on the leader's perspective and they will not lead in a different way. That's why CEO and CEO is very important for the company. And uh, Gordon said that uh, if you want to make a system, uh, why is the organization system here is a basic component? Maybe it depends on the people and then but uh, think about uh, even though we don't take a discipline to the education, but think about what kind of your uh, uh, components you need for basic school organization, right? Uh, basic component school needs. And 
There is input. Always there is input. There is no input and you cannot process, right? So input is a yeah, raw materials and the human resources and character and information and technology. Okay, you gotta input this one. And then they work together. There is an input. And when you run school and there's a human resources, so teachers and students and volunteers like this, right? Maybe for fund is there from the government, maybe some you could get a donation from donors and yeah, like this. There is information how you should develop the, your programs and then okay now is uh, how they change their the society is changing, how can we adapt, adapt, yeah, adapt the change, like this, right? Then we the input, we need the input. What about transform, yeah, transformation process? And then we take this on how can we process and then um, make this one, in, yeah, these, yeah, outcome. How can we make outcomes? And they, that's why there's employee work activities and then they got to work, the employees assign, maybe they specialize the people is there and more knowledgeable people is there and there is a, a engineers there and some really skilled workers need and then, yeah, what about management activities and then how can we manage people, how can we manage a whole system? What about operation method? How can we operate? As a, aggregate, yeah, aggregate thing or the system thing? And what kind of technology do we need? That's the kind of process, right? And then if you increase there and uh, the process there and then supposed to be outcome, is it good? How it affects how much you produce the profit? By the school, how effective? What about what is about what about achievement? What about you know, school student as a uh, score of the center test? Like this, there is outcome. And here is a if you if you go to business and uh, products and service and financial result result loss or gain information and human results. What kind of result do we have? Like this. Projects. And what about feedback? Oh, we really successful. Why? How can we make it better? And then that's a good another good side. Yeah, one another, another side. Oh the we we didn't yeah we, we didn't punish much that right? much that we are expecting, so why? What was the problem? We're gonna know the was the inputs wrong or process wrong. Right? We gotta think about what is the yeah, output and influenced by the input, right? That's a feedback. What about the environment? I know we have an input and we have a right process, and then, but still, what is the environment? It's a group of workers. It's a, this component make of an internal external factor that affect the system. And if we go to business, nowadays the Google's and big companies, and they really make a good environment, right? Try to attract a lot of uh, good, yeah, excellent people. My daughter got a job, and then she wants to, yeah, she, before she started, and she went, yeah, maybe yeah, she started and work, and then she went to, yeah, kind of, yeah, oh, as a helper office, and then she was really amazed. She never seen kind of environment, and then. Before, after we yeah, graduated, yeah, after graduated college, and then she just work kind of yeah, for EMT, so you know EMT and emer uh, yeah, emergency medical technician, and who draw the ambulance and then make a baby kind 
kind of treatment and then deliver the people to the hospital. That was a really different environment. She was really amazed and then and working environment is very different. They went somewhere, they had a social meeting and lunch together and dinner together and they chat each other and once she they I think they were paid up with the ones of who was a, was a, a spirit, team spirit and they volunteer to the yeah. They went to the farm and volunteer actually they work for four hours. Maybe a lot of people expecting one hour working and be chatting and spending time together, but not really. But they work together like a long time. And there is your environment, different environment. And like a Google, they provide nice jeans and and we have as a food, we have full of food and it's a lot, it's a lot different, right? That is a basic component. And then, um, as, you, yeah, as an educator, if you, yeah, if you uh, think about, yeah, if you consider yourself a principal and you go to school, and then uh, if you understand the whole school as an as a organization, think about what kind of yeah, input is uh, from outside and from the teacher and how they process. How how yeah how teachers are working for how the administration yeah administrator working for and what is the outcome? So compare with the yeah, district yeah district and other district and uh, standard school is a totally different. Why? How schools process? And there's a bit of why is the school is totally you know, so different. And it's one school is a, oh yeah, acknowledged by yeah, uh, state and maybe a country. It's a really good school. And other school is kind of normal school and maybe low than the, yeah, everybody. There is a bit of it, why? And then, and what kind of environment you know, school provide and parents provide to achieve the academic performance, right? How schools organize administrations you know, provide the kind of you know, uh, was a uh, set the whole environment. Yeah, that is a big component. So even though it's a simple, I know when you go to school and there's a maybe simple component is there, maybe extend and different, well, different parts are there, right? Like the input. Okay, then yeah, try to understand the school like well, so, uh, one of the yeah, yeah, one of the organizations organization system. So why is organization? Why is organization? What is organization? Here is a yeah, uh, definition by dictionary and then and an organized body of people with a particular well purpose. But they will okay we have this purpose and then Group of people who are organized and work together, especially a business and society and association. Uh, two years ago during the pandemic, and I organized a well, uh, non-profit organization. Uh, there is a specific purpose is there. What is the what is the purpose? Yeah, what is the purpose of the organization is well to support what is a student who have kind of a potential leadership and that's why if they are uh, have if they have a right education and then a proper education they can serve the community and then yeah and try but they don't have resources. Not fine they their parents their parents are really poor and they cannot support well, education. So 
we try to select the people who really have a potential to become a leader of the community and then uh, select the people and we try to provide it for the education fund and even clubs. That is the organization that I established. Yeah, we just got started. Yeah, I just got started and tried to select the people, but it's not an easy process. We don't want to um, spend money here and there, but it's not productive. So we, we, I don't want to waste the resources. So recruiting people is really input, right? That is, yeah, uh, there is a particular for your purposes there. And if you go and any organization, most of the business organization is what? Purpose to make a profit. But, yeah, it's a, maybe I don't know what kind of the uh, visions and uh, values have, but still there is a specific purpose there all the time. Here is some definition that I got, and it's a, a bank trash, yeah, bank trash kind of overnight, and he uh, kind of organized in his paper and then provided definition that I got from him, his paper. And then here is, and Allen said the organization is a process of identifying of a group work. Uh, so identify and grouping work. I mean, what kind of work they have in grouping, right? To be performed and defining and delegating responsibility of authority and establishing relationship for the purpose of enabling people to work most effectively together in accomplishing what object. It's really a lot of things that they, you know, he's talking about. Identifying work and grouping together. That's a process of what? To be what? Perform. What kind of perform? Defining and delegating responsibility and authority. Okay? Now, does it mean that defining the work is there and then delegate authority and res responsibility? Can you see the kind of whole? It's not just one part and a lot of parts of it and establishing what? Relationship is there for the purpose of enabling people to work most effectively. Build up the relationship between the relationship and how can we, how can we lead really the people work effectively? He's always said it, so that's why he's really uh, emphasized on what? The process of what? Identifying work and grouping work. What kind of work need? What kind of work needed? And and uh, how can we put kind of yeah together, differentiate and uh, specialize and differentiate and put together, right? And what about leader? He's one of the uh, big guy who really uh, leading about the organization understanding his role and then. He said that really is a internal organization is a structured yeah, framework of duties and responsibility required of personnel. So internal organization I means that he's a really yeah the, uh, the structural framework of duties and responsibility. He literally this organization is here and then what? How can you run the organization, the internal organization, and then please really think about what they need to do, responsibility. I know the Allen, yeah, Louis Allen is still he's talking about responsibility, right? He said the required personnel yeah, performing various functions within the company. Okay? If they don't do the, their duties and if they don't do their responsibility. There's no performance, there's no function working well. So that is all. He said it is a, yeah, essentially a blueprint for action resulting in mechanism for carrying out function to achieve the goals that set up by company management. 
So he's really focused on the what, uh, duties and responsibilities. What about yeah, yeah, Kunt and Ordinal, yeah, Ordinal, and uh, he said they said that the establishment of the authority relationship with the provision, authority relationship, uh, with the provision. Um, just think about each part has. Um, if you think the machine and the machine is its part, but organization is was a was a grouped by the people, right? And then uh, provision, uh, authority relationship with provision or coordinating between them. So vertically, uh, vertically, horizontally in the enterprise structure. So he, they really uh, uh, think about thought about the authority relationship, what kind of structure, in the structure. What about the, yeah, Oliver Sheldon? Oliver Sheldon is an organization that forces to combine work with individual or the groups, have to perform with the facilities necessary for, yeah, necessary for its execution. That the duty is so performed to provide the best channel for the efficient and systematic and positive and coordinated and appli uh, coordinated application of the available effort. So he's really uh, combined all work, individual and groups and their duty to provide the best channel for the efficient, systematic, and positive and coordinated. And what about spree, yeah, uh, spree, spree world, and it is a broad in the sense that organization refers to the relationship between the various factors, various factors. What is the various factors? Present in the given endeavor factory organization now. Concern itself primarily with the internal relationship with the factories, such as responsible for personnel and arrangement and group of mechan mech you know, machines and material control. You know, control. So think about he he is a really kind of uh, uh, interwoven, right? Interdependent you know, factors, yeah, you know, different elements are there and but they uh, they have a relationship. George Terry, uh, George Terry said organizing the uh, organizing the establishment of effective authority relationship he put a little bit more uh, effective. Right? It's not just authority. And if we go to school, this authority is there. If we go to any organization, is there. Depends on how they use their authority effectively. Maybe organization can grow, and maybe organization may be stagnant or diminish. And what was C. H. Northcott? Northcott is Northcott is there. The arrangement by which tasks are assigned to men and women so that their individual effort to contribute. So, okay, organization is that there is a, a lot of workers is there and the what? They work and their effort what contribute effectively. What about uh, LH and yeah, Henley? Organization is a harmonious or this one of a specialized part of the accomplishments among the common purpose in Korea. Accomplishing of some common purpose of the earth. Purpose or purpose. Well, can you see the words that really emphasize the people who are businessmen and scholar about organization? Focus is the functions, duties, responsibility, and purpose, effectiveness. 
right? What else? Authority. There is there need a kind of authority. Whether it's effective or not. What about the relationship? Are the factors? Various factors, but there is a relationship. How can we put together? And systematic and effective, coordinated. What else? Duties and responsibility, right? And grouping and identifying work and grouping. There's a organization, so we already talk about the system thinking, and there's a lot of different parts and responsibilities, and how can we run together with in, in the, yeah, in, with interdependence and make what? Well, produce, maximize the outcomes. Because organizations always there's a specific goals and purpose. How can they get out that one? So we consider there's a, always a lot of goals, purposes there. They need personnel to work for you. There is a and but there is the work identified by duties and responsibilities and token in charge of this one. And there is a yeah, uh, authority in the kind of leader. There are management groups and Python and yeah, and board members or whatever, and there's a leaders. Maybe there's a how can we create a system, systematic, efficient, and project and coordinate? Could, you know, put the one, you know, various factors are you know, part you know, together, right? And uh, there's a basic understanding of the organization and as a same year, as the same year, the five we are uh, kind of discipline of leading organizations. So, uh, if you wanna learn into organization, and then we gotta see the uh, five factors. And um, here is, and then he said that if you wanna see the uh, understand the organizations, and then there is a system thinking that we already talk about. And then system thinking is about uh, the in integrative discipline that really builds what form this one into the core and body of the theory and practice. This one is kind of yeah, through this one, this is a form, yeah, this is practice, yeah, fits, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then they kind of yeah, rules, what well, system, system, yeah, system thinking is like a brain. We already talked about it, and uh, what about his uh, personal mastery? He's a uh, you know, person, uh, personal mastery is that people must regard their life and their work such as what? Artists and uh, such as artists regarding the work of the art. And then they create their work and they accomplish, right? There's a personal mastery and then there is a personnel there, there's a workers there, and then they gotta know what they need to do and create their own work and finish it. We gotta uh, think about this aspect and what about mental models? Deeply imagine assumption or mental imaging or influence of how they understand the world, yeah, world and how, uh, how we take action. This is the kind of mental part. How people thinking about, how people understand the world, and then how they work together. And there is another aspect of understanding of organization and then what? And then and another one is a shared vision. So we already talk about the purpose of the world, right? Purpose. And then shared vision is that. If there is a genuine vision, people 
very old point. They invest their life. Not because of they have to do it, but because of they want to do it. And that's why our vision test is very important. First the vision. Vision is the kind of where you could vision, envision something and if you say something and they draw in some pictures and things, oh it's gonna be like that. That's all. Now, sharing vision is really important and team learning was a team. Team members participate in, well, they talk to each other and discuss each other with the respect, you know, respect and, wow. So, they always hold their own assumption and they got to talk and discuss and build up a team spirit. Maybe company and organization provide a lot of different way. Like my daughter's company, and they live together, maybe they volunteer together, and they work together. And that's a five aspect of the, uh, uh, the learning the organization. And uh, think about the, uh, what's a basic component of organization, and then the and a little bit different, that is a really process and uh, this one is a little bit understanding more yeah, uh, uh, so the basic direction and the people, right? So when you go and when you work, maybe when, when you try to find your position and then uh, if you want to really work for organization that you, you like and you really want to operate, and then you got to see what kind of organization you feel. And yesterday, um, I, I met my kind of, uh, friend, and he was talking about you know, uh, a hospital handled by the uh, patients, right? And they have a brain issues, and then uh, they open the brain, and then for a while they open, and the brain, the patient wants to stay home, not in the hospital, and then, and because they opened the brain and they didn't close yet, and then they were really careful. Uh, if you know, the patient is flatly uh, fall on the ground, falls on the ground, and then big trouble. That's why in the hospital uh, changed the whole house for the, the patient, so everything. So the kids are uh, the nurse, and then they are very impressed, really impressed. They are nurses, and two the son and daughter, they are, they are both a nurse, and then they are uh, really impressed about they are interested in the hospitals, and then and they apply the job to the hospital because they want to work with the hospital. And then the as an interviewer, interviewer in the camera asks, why do you want to work with the, in our hospital? And then, uh, she shared about her experience with the, uh, uh, her uh, father and then she got hired. And then yeah, uh, father and then son. So, and I don't know, uh, depends on uh, like yeah, they see the kind of organization and uh, their, their experience and they see the how what kind of value they have and what kind of vision they have and how they manage the whole things. There's a hospital organization, right? What about the business sector? What about the education sector? They have different purpose, right? How we how 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 you guys understand the you know, maybe you can hear, you can hear the good stories, maybe you can hear the bad stories and then it's a thing a lot of happen, right? Uh, he said, uh, since uh, Cindy said, uh, well, okay, if you want to understand the organization, you got to see. That's a very deep. And here is some questions about how you, you know, understand your school as a learning organization. There are some questions. 
learning organizations, right? Maybe different from the business, different from the uh, uh, non-profit organization. Maybe that is a originally private, uh, uh, private organization is there, and then non-profit organization is there, and then different from other, right? And there is some question that uh, a friend to provide to understand the school organizations, and those school have an incentive structure that include adaptive behavior. Okay, if you there's any incentive what structure, there is a lot of changes going on. How can we help that? And then we change it. Come on, you adapt that one, and then. We'll Wrong and then there's an incentive structure. Where it is, and then does the school have a challenging or achieving but achieving goal? There's a lot of goals, yeah, struggles out there and challenges out there, but they are still achieving the goal. Or they're stagnant and they getting well, disputing. Right? What about can member of the school organization accurately identify school's yeah, stage of development? Okay, there's a vision is there how they are uh, building the school, how they wanna carry out the their build the their school, and there's each stage is there. They everybody's identifying for the school, and what about? Does the school get the process and act information in very fast to suit to the school's goals? Of, sure, uh, of course, we're going to ask. And the school have an institutional knowledge base and process, you know, base and process for the creating new ideas. Society, yeah, society is changing. People are changing, right? And then, what about the school exchange information frequently with the relevant external yeah, sources? How much resources are coming from outside into inside? And they exchange with other schools, and then they can kind of know the how society is changing, and education system is changing, and people are changing. There is a lot of issues nowadays. You know? student mental issues and financial issues and teachers issues right and what about the school get feedback to own activity and service there is a yeah, time or there is yeah, any 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 uh program or time that to discuss about what we are doing and there's any meetings what about the school continually review and refines its process. Sometimes there is always try and errors, and we gotta know, and we gotta evaluate, and we gotta readjust, adjust, adjust it. What about school have a supportive organization culture or a competing cultures? And there is a lot of different. Uh, uh, education system, if you go to public school and then like a UC and then they draw the curve and okay, top 20 percent is A and uh, 50, yeah, uh, certain percent B, C, D, like this. And, and that's why you gotta, regardless of your school, and you gotta, in, you feel like a, a and you gotta top 15, 10 percent like this. But if you go to another, yeah, school setting, you know. Regardless of your percentage of score, okay, you got a 90% is over is an A, and 80% over is a B, like this. That is your first one is like a very kind of uh, very comparative, they cannot help each other, but second kind of system is like, uh, yeah, who can work together and then we can. Yeah, we all yeah, we all get a good grade. They really not the competitive and but they work together, cooperate. So for two. Is the school is an open system sensitive to the external environment or like including social, political, and economic conditions or a closed system? 
Yeah, there is a very you know, uh, questions that uh, grant provide to understand the uh, school as a more yeah, learning organization. Okay, then what kind of your uh, part can uh, sub kind of a department at school? If you go to university and there's a lot of department, it depends on the what? The majors, right? But if you go to elementary school, like a primary school and secondary school, and they are different. But higher education is really uh, specialized. But organization has what, some uh, structures, internal structure and external structure. Why is it internal structure? It's not a visible, but we have to do it like um, making decision. How can how can we decide, uh, how can the wise organization decide something? Always there is yeah, something is coming up, we gotta discuss and decide. So if you make a right decision and you are more than so productive, you're productive and it's easy to achieve the goal, but it's not a it's not it make your yeah, decision is wrong. It's really devastating to the schools and people, your organization. That's why internal, internal progress of organization is an internal kind of element of part. This is making decision and for our leaders to personalize the organization. That's what we gotta think. And when you talk about this, you know, Decision for your uh, decision making and who's going to get involved in it. How we get the process. Not just, okay, we have a meeting and discuss and, okay, raise and not that one. What kind of process? When you have issues and how can we tackle the issues, then why is the process to make a decision? Right? Maybe. Oh, we got to yeah, define the issues and you gotta pull, uh, we got to collect the data and then how this issue impact the uh, student and administrators and the teachers. And there is any concept, yeah, concept, yeah, consultation with the outside like this. And then there is, there is kind of, we got a part, yeah, new process. What about communication? Okay, there is a lot of different parts there, and then maybe it's the you know, administration, and sometimes and the secretary, school secretary there, and then what? And uh, what is that? Sometimes and what is that? Art education, and what is that? And science, and a lot of different parts in school, even though primary and secondary school, right? But still, different parts, and maybe custodian custodian is there and principal is there and teachers there how can we communicate with each other how can we make a better yeah better environment for students and education we gotta communicate and then there is certain yeah we gotta make a decision to change right that was an important thing how can we make a change? That is yeah, that is a kind of a, a topic that we got an organization should deal. So uh, when we understand the school as an edu yes, educational organization, and organization, we gotta think about this part, decision making this part, and leadership part, and communication part, and change part. How can we change? There's a one of the components, and then what about the other characteristics? Yeah, other part of the organization. We already, yeah, we 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 already saw that the definition is authority. Authority. There is a power dynamic always. Uh, sometimes a 
depends on the society, but there's a principle is there, vice, vice principle is there, and then there's a yeah, dean is there, like this, right? There's a power structure, hierarchical, hierarchy is there. We gotta understand how can we uh, use the yeah, power, how can we understand the dynamic to make effective as a maximize the effect, the outcome? What about cultures? School has they have their own cultures. Depends on, right? My kid, my area is like a, a really minority dominant, and it's a small city, less than sixty thousand residents, and but uh, really Asian is really dominant, and uh, Chinese and Indian and Korean and other some uh, blacks and Hispanics. And I still remember how we had the sad lunch days. And once a month, and parents invite, yeah, the school invite the parents and they bring the sad lunch and uh, they are sitting together with their children and eating together. In the beginning, I think this is really good. That was like a unique kind of yeah, uh, culture yeah, at school. It was really happy uh, why to bring the opportunity and then we could see how they doing and then after lunch and kids really want to show up how they what they do what 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 can yeah, what they can do like monkey bars and other playing stuff and then yeah in the beginning it seems good but later on I, yeah a lot of people talking about working parents. Parents cannot come to school for the silent day. And then what happened? The kids are kind of up. That's an apparent, and they just come up uh, eating along and with my yeah, ch ch children, yeah, was friends like this. And I know that's a, a lot of study, but that is yeah, school culture is there. And then we have a cultural day, and then a lot of the different cultural groups put into their own stuff. And then uh, school use a kind of a fundraising, and then they sell the all, yeah, ethnic food, and then there is a present ethnic culture present, yeah, right? And there is yeah, a unique environment that school provides. That's the one we are, that's a part of the school culture. And there is another organization you gotta think about size and structure and complexity. We already talked about simple and um, yeah, right? What size? Is a, uh, organization is like uh, I work is like very small. A little bit different structure with other organization, yeah. Um, mission agency and then uh, what's up? How we run this organization is a small size and Members is our members are like yeah around fifty people, but how many of yeah of workers in the office? What about structure? The simple or uh, complex? Complex yeah complex yeah com yeah complexity and then a little bit different, right? What about organization health and effectiveness? It's really healthy. What is about how do you understand the Organization help. Lots of people. It's a healthy organization, it's a growing. It's a stagnant or recessive. Recessive. Right? Depends on. So we gotta diagnose this organization to help. Effectiveness. Yeah, that is a part of the uh, we gotta know how we evaluate the organizations and how we understand the organization, our organization that I belong, right? Yeah, yeah. And there is a kind of a uh, 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 part and component that uh, if we understand the organization, especially schools, we got to consider all things. So this class trying to provide yeah, this topics. How can we understand the powers? How can we understand the cultures? And how can we evaluate the schools? And then 
uh, how can we make the decision process and what about leadership style and how we communicate, how do we change the story. And if you are one of the leaders and as for the maybe a principal, vice principal, and maybe you gotta know that how to run school inside the school and connected with the district and maybe board members in the private sectors and private school and and then how about relationship with the state and relationship with the federal. Uh, we're not go, we are not gonna go over that one, but still one more organization like the state level, like the, yeah, for, for what is the school is directly the work of it, right? And uh, inside and but uh, still outside, we're gonna consider, but not in like a district, maybe we're gonna know the district, and yeah, so we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, go over one by one. So from next week, we're gonna talk about, uh, uh, next week, uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, discuss about school culture. Uh, there is uh, some uh, metaphor for the organization and some people uh, try to explain organization machine. Can you see the, how all uh, parts together make of yeah, rods and like a clock. Think about clock, how they work together and then uh, not the automatic clocks and then you know, there's like a, uh, like a cuckoo clocks and other clocks and then really complicate all how yeah work together. You can see that one, not the electric one. Electric one is like, like a, yeah, we cannot see the inside always if they have a small thing and put together, but long time always a kind of, yeah, uh, clocks you can open and you can see the back and how they are connected and working. And like a machine, what about organism? Like a human being and living being and how they work together. And uh, there's a brain and the brain is here. Everything is from the brain, right? And then whole body, how they process like this. And there is a lot of yeah, understanding of your know, organization, but there's a yeah, good and the, yeah, the advantage and then disadvantage. But still, uh, maybe I hope that, uh, you can see how understand the organization, right? I, I just yeah, introduce uh, what is part of your metaphor is there. And, Maybe you can see. And uh, next week, uh, if you understand the uh, uh, system approach, what kind of uh, advantages there, and then golden kind of summarize advantages that assist in studying the function of the complex organizations, complex organization, uh, uh, probabilistic rather than the deterministic, and then probabilistic and rather than the what? Uh, and determin yeah, deterministic, and then it utilizes a base for the new kinds of organization like a project management organization. So maybe you can use a lot of different things. And then what? Possible to bring out the internal relationship in various functions like planning, organizing, and directing, and controlling. That is so uh, advantage when we understand the scores and then uh, there is kind of a negative side that we gotta know, and then uh, approach is somehow maybe sometimes really abstract and vague if you cannot plan out, and then uh, uh, maybe you cannot give the specific, and then it's a little bit system that sometimes a lot of things are cannot visible. It's not visible, right? So uh, that's why that is a one of the uh, things that people, if you are not trained, you do not, cannot think in that way, and then it's really hard. And it's difficult to apply the large and complex organization. That's true. That's true. On a small and medium size, it's okay, but that's why it's a progressive mechanism. Machina, machinization, and then 
you better put together I I make it really complex and then one part yeah function start from you know, start functioning and what happens it affect all others like this and then more, but there is always think about systematic backup and then they can yeah the backup they kick it in and then yeah deal with the problem. And it does not provide any tools or techniques for many management managers. That is systematic. Uh, specific, but they need to know how to work and then uh, process and then uh, still uh, uh, there is no tools and just what techniques. Special, but maybe human skills and manager for the manager, human skills are really important, right? And then uh, how to understand the whole process and then uh, use their leadership like a skill, like a specific technique. And then it's not a prescriptive management theory, but it, it, yeah, it, yeah, as it does not specify two techniques for the practice managers, right? Okay, you, that's a problem is this, and then you gotta do this one. But still, we have other things going on, and then uh, that's why we gotta know the big picture of the whole system, right? That's why you gotta know the how. Maybe every time the problem is not a one cause of problem, maybe two, three cause together. That's why we gotta know this the whole pictures, and then how we gotta work. That's a, that's a. Meaning is really communication is important. However, it does not address uh, power, social equality, and their cause. That's true. But that one is such a big thing in education. But um, like this, and then I went to you know, I went to church, but um, there is an education department, and then. And worship department, yeah, worship, worship, yeah, uh, 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 and, and there's a lot of, yeah, uh, uh, and they need a lot of, yeah, uh, uh, part at church, right? And then, interestingly, they have kind of social justice, justice pastor, who charges the social justice part. Interesting title. Uh, they named it title, like, Educating as new supervisors and secretary and uh, yeah, young young U.S. Uh, uh, college pastors and executive pastors and legal pastors and worship a lot of different you know, pastors there and then they said just this pastor. Hmm. Meaning that I think it's hard to put into the system, but they let them in charge of social issues and social service. As a church, they want to support their people, right? Like this. And then that's why, even though sometimes, yeah, but we can put it into kind of a one of a part of the system, but not the exactly, uh, it's not automatically arise, but it does not specify nature of the interaction and interdependence. It's not visible, right? For organization, sometimes we need to discuss, and sometimes by the system, it's a day uh, we decide how to do that, and they work together, right? But it's a separate. That's why it's a hard to sometimes, but sometimes if they don't work together, they own part, and still there's a conflict there. And yeah, there's a yeah kind of. An, Negative attribute, or positive attribute, and depends on. There is no perfect system, but if you understand the school like uh, organization, education organization, and then uh, it's not exactly like uh, uh, like business sector, but still, uh, if you see uh, schools, and then there's a private sector who try to uh, produce some. Uh, benefit for the society, society and benefit for the, their uh, uh, organization to education as a private sector. Therefore, there is a public sector like a support by the government. Uh, direction is a little bit different, right? So, um, 
depends on which organization and you know, private sector or public sector, and well, it's different. But uh, if you are interested in education, at least uh, maybe you have a master's program, whatever, and then uh, think about um, how can you understand the uh, school, right? That's a part of that. So uh, next week, uh, we are first week and second week, we talk about the basic understanding. And from uh, next week, we're going to uh, learn about a specific topic. So start from the uh, school culture. All right, so I hope that uh, you're going to have some insight of how to understand the school as an educational organization. And then uh, think about what, you, or what kind of assumptions you have for the school. And then um, what are you expecting from the school, right? And we already talked about some issues nowadays. And then uh, think about how, yeah, as an organization, how school deals with some kind of issues. Uh, last year uh, uh, was a uh, uh, bombing, and maybe the California, the uh, LA County, uh, we bought about. So, can we make more fund for the uh, art and music kind of program? Because uh, recently, in my so LA County, and then it, their program is really limiting. And for the school, yeah, primary and secondary schools, and then they want to get the more bond, and they kind of uh, let them fall. And then, the, so I think it's, yeah, uh, everybody agrees uh, the body is passed to get the more fund, right? And maybe from the ransom, so you're going to pay tax, pay tax more, and then maybe when you buy the something and you're going to pay. Yeah, sales tax more like that. I don't know how they want to get the fund and make a fund. Anyway, like this, right? That's a part of our know, education that uh, we need to politic. All right, so you guys have a good day.